All right, guys. So just before this video gets started, I have headbands. I have little sleeves for your gaming headset and also sleeves for your beats at beats at beatskicks.com. Make sure you use code Aftermath for a discount. All right, we all got this nice, cool, good stuff right here for you guys. So make sure you grab them and uh, once again get that 10% discount and let the video begin. <laughs> Of course my life matters to me, but not just mine. Everyone's. Don't fear failure. It's all as true today as when you were 12. Handle that business. Keep your dreams intact. California! What's good, YouTube? It's your boy at B Aftermath, back with another gamer to gainer video. Hope you guys are enjoying the series. Today I want to focus on a little bit more of an advanced uh, type of talk. I mean, not so advanced, but this is more, you can still be a beginner and still listen to what I'm saying and uh, benefit from it because you will eventually get to this point. Um, but the main key of today is what's best to build a bigger chest. Now, the reason why I tell the beginners to wait out on this because we want to start developing the body fully before we start breaking down into single day um, workouts, where it's like back day, chest day, arm day, stuff like that, the bodybuilder split um, type of things. We're still working on our full body-ish or like upper body, lower body type of training right now. So for you forget beginners, don't start with this yet. But for those who are trying to grow a specific muscle, um, as we speak, today is chest. So working on chest, which is a bodybuilder split, and we'll probably do about four to five exercises of this movement. And do you need to lift heavy to build a big chest? Now, we have multiple types of lifters, and when, when you think of a big chest, you I mean, of course, first thing you think is a bodybuilder. First thing you think is a bodybuilder, not a power lifter. Now, when I look at bodybuilders and I talk to them, like, yes, yeah, some of them can be strong, but not all of them are strong, but yet they're very developed, you know? And let's say if they're like the same weight or, or height and stuff as me, and just a very developed chest, and they could bench barely 300 pounds, but you're like over 230 or, or 300 some pounds and you know your max is between three and four hundred that's because their worry is not about the amount of weight but about the amount of muscle built within that training and it's very high volume and and their muscle mind on mind muscle connection you know go go to kai green for instance who talks about all of this the muscle connection you know when it comes to the lifts now me being a all around athlete you know I do everything from bodybuilding and powerlifting to whatever else athletic training um, and me specifically when I bench or train chest it's more so for strength now I don't have it's not it's not like I don't have a chest but I mean I got somewhat of a chest it's not crazy we're not talking about like Russ Fold big you know where it's just like big two tumors you know, just stick it out right there where he's just developed, you know, he's built his chest and he's genetically designed to have a barrel chest like that. You know, therefore me, I'm not, or like Simeon Panda, like he has a chest, it's very like strange, but it's out there, you know what I'm saying? So these very nice developed chests, you know, and even if, you know, I don't, I don't even think they're a good um, example because you know, Russ definitely benches, he benches heavy. Simeon somewhat benches heavy, but it's not his main factor. But, you know, for me, for me, for, you know, I'm just gonna use me, cause I think I'm, the, I'm probably the best example right now. I don't, ben I, I bench literally for strength. I bench and hit chest mainly for just as much as weight as I can. And I'll do a little bit of side stuff. And that's really that. Now what I have is called bencher's chest, for those who don't know. So bencher's chest is pretty much Big bench, little chest. <laughs> I know it's kind of like weird because bencher's chest, like would that mean you have a big chest? Like no, it's the opposite. I have big triceps. So like triceps are like my thing, you, you know, because my bench is right here. When I bench, I'm right here, boom. Just like that. Rather than um, being out here, you worry. I could feel it more out here, but I don't feel safe out here. My shoulders don't feel safe. My joints hurt out here, so I stay away from that. Therefore, 
you know, being right here is why I feel strong. And with that being said, my push movements are strong. It's just that I don't really develop the chest like I want to. And there's a lot of things going into why I don't want a big chest. I specifically don't want a huge chest. I actually kind of like how it is right now. Um, you know, just kind of little touch ups here and there. Make sure I do some flies, some dumbbell work. If you seriously want a big chest, it comes down to you know, volume sets from eight to 12 reps um, with a very medium, medium amount of weight. Uh, you know, about four to five sets is pretty good. About four or four exercises would uh, definitely be a good start for you. Um, but I would mainly focus on dumbbell exercises, right? Now it's good to develop yourself with barbell exercises to build strength, but when it comes down to really building volume and size and getting that stretch and a good feel when it comes to the chest training, you definitely need to use dumbbells. Dumbbells over barbells for sure. I'm a barbell type of chest workout person and it's you know it's developed enough, it's done okay, but when it comes to actually getting a big huge chest you have to do dumbbells dumbbells would be your bread and butter for this even if you if you decide to choose one thing one to whatever three things dumbbells and cables actually because the range of motion you get with the dumbbells or the cables when it comes to flies or when it comes to just a normal incline decline flat bench press and flies as well and you need to really focus on that for the long run when it comes to building a huge chest, all right? And the reason why it's good to not, not use the barbell so much is because your front delts and shoulders and things can take over. So it feels like, you know, you're gonna cave in right here rather than, because everything, when you, when you get set, you start to kind of hunch over so you have to be a little bit more relaxed when you bench so that's going to be something you have to learn you know throughout your training career to just like kind of relax a little bit bring those shoulders back and not overload the front delts too much you don't want to just crash and bench and then right after or like you know like the next day or whatever crash some shoulders you know front delts all these raises and stuff because you have to take an accountability of what you've already trained in the secondary muscles used in that training all right because when i put together a program or something i have to think about all right these are the main muscles i'm training today what other muscles are taking a toll you know like not like the third or fourth whatever like but like the second what's the second most used muscle right now that's being you know that's taking a toll and like i think about that and like when it comes to benching it's kind of eh because i can i can say all right my chest is being worked and then, all right, my, my triceps, shoulders, those are the three things that I'm thinking about. And for how I bench, it's more so my triceps and my shoulders, I feel like, rather than my chest, which is why my development isn't that great. So, I mean, even that being said, you don't have to bench heavy to get a big chest, because I grew up with people and, and know, I mean, not grew up, but I know guys, even in college, they didn't have great benches at all. But when I asked them, like, yo, this, this dude had a crazy chest that just came like, all the way out here and, and i noticed every time i seen him in the gym what did he always do dumbbells 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 nothing else and that you know it makes sense because i feel like there's more there's more recruitment of muscle fibers when you're using dumbbells and you're using that unilateral strength or like that you know that you know opposite size of course when you have, when you have your own sets of weights in each hand so both sides are being trained equally rather than a barbell where you could power through one side you know you know where you'll have like that that turn you have more strength on one side stuff like that so the dumbbells fix all those things imbalances um and build more muscle for you and i think that is the case for a majority of your body parts when it comes to growth dumbbells is the key when it comes to strength then i'll use barbells because you could have a crazy amount of weight and um i don't know like like going heavy on dumbbells really ha really hasn't been like a crazy thing for me that uh like, that i care for like yeah i can do like 200 pound dumbbell presses but like why you know like dumbbell uh, bench presses but why would i do that you know like 150s is like good enough for me like, i use 150s i could probably bang out like 10 reps with the 150s and that's fine enough for me that's a lot of work done 
so why try to max out like there's no reason to max out on dumbbell matter of fact i don't even think it's safe to try to max out on dumbbell for sure it's just it's just a little bit too much so that being said when it comes to maxing out stick to barbell all right nobody maxes out with dumbbells anyways or even on leg press or on machines or none of that don't don't try to max out on shit like that all right or stuff like that just max out on barbell and leave the dumbbells for volume work for your actual muscle growth routines so that's all I really have to say for you guys hope you enjoy make sure you follow the twitch channel on twitch.tv slash FB aftermath and uh, I will catch you guys later of course my life matters to me but not just mine everyone's don't fear failure it's all as true today as when you were 12 handle that business